hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, we're looking at a community-built project. Now, this has been built by Korn from the Steam Workshop, and it's part of the Korn Industries sort of package, and I expect some more future projects from him, but it's actually an automated factory, and I am quite bewildered by it. It is an amazing piece of design and engineering. And if you're a businessman or plan to be a businessman of the stars, this might be something you consider on a method of actually selling and producing your ships, maybe on an RP server or something. Now, if we head around the actual facility itself, you see we've got this large glass chamber that is held to this actual Ferris wheel that has a number of sensors and different components that I'll explain to you a little bit in a minute. Now, if we come around the back, we've got a ladder that leads up to the top to the maintenance and sort of landing pad, as well as the large solar panel that is used to aid in powering the actual system itself. And on top, we have the connector so you can drop off your supplies and you can build the ship you want. Now, if you are in a sort of roleplay server, this thing is perfect for selling your designs to other people, trading, bartering, and showing what sort of designs and ships you have to offer. Now, I'll show you along the top, we have got a number of different racks. In total, we have, I believe, eight or nine racks. I think it's nine. And we've actually got these on a rotary system so we can pick which one we want. So, let's say, for instance, we want a view design number three. So, it'll cycle around to design number three, as you can see there. It looks like a small sort of grinding ship. Let's have a look at design number four, shall we? And it'll cycle around, and we can see that's a little bit of a ship that looks like it's used to move supplies and so on. And we could do this pretty much all day, and you could even filter this around. And you can see as we're going over to the last ship here, that looks like some sort of connector module ship. Really cool sort of designs here, really useful as well in some sort of survival sense. Now, if we continue on, let's actually produce one of these ships. So let's pick out one of the other designs. So we'll go for this one. It'll cycle it around to that number. And the sensors on the Ferris wheel sort of design lock it in place. And we've built ourselves a little fighter. Now, let's press the build button or the buy button here. And as you can see, what's actually going to happen is we'll switch to the spectator camp on the inside. Because it's going to actually start producing and welding up a shaft, as you can see there. And the shaft is then going to connect up to the center of the ship. That then triggers a secondary timer block. Now, this secondary timer block actually pulls the welders away, like we've seen in many of the other printing sort of facilities. Now, this is where it gets really cool. Just look at this. The landing gear comes up into position, takes the ship. Now, it takes the ship all the way down through the mechanism, as you can see here, and brings it up towards a landing pad area. Now, it's a little bit of a hard hump but it actually grabs onto this. Now it's bringing this to the landing pad. So we'll actually move up into the landing pad position with the spectator cam. And we've got ourselves a nice small little ship. We've still got the sprue attached. That's something that you're going to have to deal with later. You're going to have to disattach it. We've got the landing gear that actually pushes it up. Now this is what I thought was really cool. It detaches the landing gear. This system then goes back. It's, all, it's almost like a ship vending machine. This is amazing. It's like a ship vending machine. And we actually have our ship here to fly. So if we... Head over here, and we're hopping the ship. We're in creative now, but you'd have to fill this with actually uranium or whatever. And let's hop aboard. Wow, a ship vending machine. Now, you're supposed to detach these um, little sprues at the moment, but I'm just going to move this to the side and have a mess around. Now, th this, is just, this is just great. I mean, you could put all sorts of ships in here. I mean, you could even start adding them now. Obviously, you'd have to specialize them so they use this same sort of connector system. So when you add on your own ship, but the Atcon's actually got videos to show you how to build this itself. Now we'll grab back onto the spectator camera and we'll move back inside to have a look at its workings. Now what allows this to rotate is these little arms here. Notice how they're on two rotors. So it means this part actually stays stable and it holds its position. Now another problem that I noticed with this design, but he solved it in a really ingenious way, is getting it to stay in that exact position at the window between both welders and the grinders and he solved this by using these sensors here so these sensors detect when they're at this level and they detect and basically stabilize it and put it in that position absolutely perfectly I, I was just totally amazed by the ingenious and, and the sort of coding that's gone behind the timer blocks to actually make something this work i must have to build something else we don't have to build another ship let's head out back outside and pick another design so let's go with a random choice let's go with a number one We'll see the machine cycle all the designs back around. And that looks like it's a drilling ship, so let's build one of these. So we'll press that button. 
and you can see that the grinders will watch this one through the window so if you were a willing sort of purchaser of a ship maybe you've just been sold a ship and here it is being built you just bartered you traded some ore maybe some raw materials see the grinders coming up into position welders lifting up wow it's, it's really cool it's taking the concept of the 3d printer sort of thing to the next level the hook comes up snaps onto the ship brings it back down into that area and now this is where the magic happens i mean all that down there is working away and you're simply going to turn around you see the platform behind you the doors are going to start to open and our ship is going to be ready it's, it's in a matter of seconds i mean this is the ship vending machine it's a beautiful concept and i'd like to thank to thank con for actually just inventing something like this as well it's a magnificent piece of engineering anyway i thought i'd share that with you today and if you want to check that out there'll be a link to this project down in the description of the video below so check that out and i'll see you next time <laughs>